Protests against the soaring cost of living in Nigeria ebbed on Monday, as few people turned out in major cities after security forces used lethal force to quell demonstrations. Hundreds of thousands had taken to the streets in cities including the capital Abuja and the commercial hub Lagos demanding relief from economic hardship and widespread insecurity and protests which started last Thursday and were meant to continue until August 10. Amnesty International said at least 13 people have been killed in clashes with the police since Thursday. Police have put the death toll at seven, blaming some on accidents and an explosive device. A firm police response and a call for a protest pause by President Bola Tinubu have dampened the demonstrations. In Lagos, where demonstrations have been largely peaceful, about 100 people gathered at the protest venue singing and chanting, We are hungry. In Abuja, there were no signs of protests at the main stadium where protesters have been gathering since Thursday. Curfews have been imposed in parts of the north, in the central plateau state, after the protests turned violent. On Sunday, Tinubu called for an end to violence and said he was always open to dialogue. Tinubu, in office since May 2023, defended his economic reforms, which have included a partial end to costly petrol and electricity subsidies and devaluation of the Naira, as necessary to reverse years of economic mismanagement.